Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Stars, formation and evolution answer. Stars, the luminous celestial bodies that, that the universe form and evolve through complex processes governed by the laws of physics. Here's an overview of their formation and evolution. Formation of stars. 1. Nebula formation. Stars are born within giant clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. These nebulae are primarily composed of hydrogen gas, along with other elements. 2. Gravitational collapse. Within a nebula, regions of higher density can occur due to various factors such as shock waves from nearby supernovae or the compression of gas clouds by gravitational interactions with other objects. 3. Protostar formation. As the dense regions within a nebula collapse under their own gravity, they form a protostar. A protostar is a hot core that begins to accumulate material from the surrounding nebula. 4. Accretion disk. As material falls onto the protostar, it forms an accretion disk around it. This disk is where planets and other objects can eventually form. 5. Nuclear fusion ignition. When the core of the protostar reaches a critical temperature and pressure around 10 million Kelvin, nuclear fusion reactions begin. Hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This marks the birth of a star. Evolution of stars. 1. Main sequence phase. The majority of a star's life is spent on the main sequence, where it fuses hydrogen into helium in its core. The star remains stable due to a balance between the outward pressure from fusion reactions and the inward pull of gravity. 2. Red giant or supergiant phase. As a star exhausts its core hydrogen, the balance shifts. The core contracts and heats up, causing the outer layers to expand and cool, turning the star into a red giant or supergiant, depending on its initial mass. 3. Fusion of heavier elements. In higher mass stars, after the core hydrogen is exhausted, helium fusion begins in the core, forming carbon and oxygen. This process continues with increasingly heavier elements until iron is formed. 4. Supernova or planetary nebula formation. The fate of a star depends on its mass, high mass stars. These stars end their lives in supernova explosions, where the core collapses and rebounds, ejecting most of its material into space. Low mass stars. These stars expel their outer layers as a planetary nebula, leaving behind a Dense core called a white dwarf. 5. Remnants. After a supernova, remnants like neutron stars or black holes may form, depending on the initial mass of the star. Conclusion. The formation and evolution of stars are fundamental processes in the universe, shaping the cosmos as we know it. These processes not only create the elements essential for life, but also drive the dynamics of galaxies and the formation of new generations of stars and planetary systems.